This lecture will explain some of the most important information security definition, but in a simplified way. And we're going to start by explaining information assets. In security, information assets is anything that include information. So it could be a laptop. The laptop could include a lot of information, personal information, finance information, any kind of information. This is called an information asset. It could be a smartphone. It could be some uh, services. It could be a hard copy document. So when we are talking about information assets, we do not just mean the information that is on our computers. We are talking about information in all forms. So it could be soft copy, hard copy, even people is considered information assets. So the concept information assets, it's anything that include information, whatever the type and importance of those information. So let's assume that you have your own laptop where you are keeping all your private and personal information and finance information. For you, this laptop is quite important because it includes all your information. So this is called information assets. And assuming that this laptop doesn't have an antivirus on it, what do we call that? So if you, you don't have an antivirus on your laptop, this is called vulnerability or weakness. It means that something is, is missing from this uh, computer. Okay, why this is considered a weakness? I mean, what could go wrong if you don't have an antivirus on your computer? You may get infected with a virus, right? So what do we call that? What do you call if your computer is getting infected with a virus? This is called a threat. Now, the point here is that I would like to clarify that not all vulnerability will have a threat. I mean, if you don't have an antivirus on your computer, which is considered a vulnerability, but maybe you are not connecting your computer to the internet, you are not using any USB or uh, uh, external hard drive, so no way you can get infected with a virus. So in this case, you have a vulnerability, but you don't have a threat for it, right? So this not necessarily that all vulnerability will have a threat. So let's assume that for some reason you get infected with the virus and you lost all the information. What is the consequences of that? You lost your information, you don't have any backup, you lost financial information, it will take you time and money to recover all this information. This is the damage that happened because a threat has utilized a vulnerability on your machine. This is called risk. So many people get confused between risk and threat. Risk is not the threat or is not what could go wrong. Risk is the result of a threat getting or utilizing a vulnerability in a system. This is a small explanation about the important information that you're going to see in all information security document, which is information assets, threat, vulnerability, risk. Not all vulnerability has a risk. It's quite important to be clear about that from the beginning. So when you continue this course, you'll understand and you can relate all the concepts with those main definitions.